and they and they're not necessarily aware of it or they they don't know how to handle it because it's coming at them in ways they've never experienced before so we're kind of unprecedented times i think that way and you kind of answered the question i wanted to ask which is when those people are in in the moment and they have um a lot of stuff come they're at work and somebody's angry at them or they've got a friend who's flipped her lid and yeah. <laughs> turned into a you know a, a not friend or whatever it is they need the tools to like you said not leave the records in in you know the the woo woo people will call that your akashic records you have records going you know back lifetimes yeah, right yeah. That, are, that are memories there that you can access if you want but you don't want those always open you don't mm -hmm. want you don't want to be like sifting through your your awareness sifting through and access to that so so if i think one you know i think part of the answer i'm trying to get to is how, how can they stay in the moment in the, and keep it healthy for themselves you know yes Keeping boundaries is one thing for sure, but you know, what would you tell them about just being present in a way that they don't get knocked off center? So, um, it's the one thing I will say is that I don't want to minimize this right or you know everybody's got their own experience mm -hmm. and their current experience is layering on the right. top of other experiences and right. probably some of these files that are open right, right. so i don't want to minimize that and say oh you just need to like learn to keep things in perspective you know yeah. it's like you know yes you do but um sometimes these current things that other people seem to be able to just manage and say like i got no control over that like really the answer is choose your battles some right. things you have some control over and many 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 things we don't right and um wherever possible you've got to just put your blinders on to things that you have no control over that really upset you and um really like and paradox, right? yeah being able to hold the uncomfortableness and be okay yeah. with that it's okay you know yeah. i got this going on that's okay and at the same time being able to step back into who you are and how you want to express and you know your chosen whatever modality for the day so mm -hmm. it it's it's tough for a lot of people but i think that is part of the answer yeah chris is biting at the bit over yeah there. yeah what well, well <laughs> one of the things that's really i think is is important here is that it what we're talking about is your reaction to stress mm -hmm. to a stressful event and that that's part of why some people go bonkers and some don't and uh i had a psychologist once tell me that the definition of being well adjusted is having a stressful event come up having you know an emotional reaction to it but very quickly shifting into okay this is happening now what am i going to do about it and um you know we we do yoga we've taught yoga for years and one of the things that we teach people about yoga is it helps us to stay centered and peaceful despite the events that are coming on around us and you know that so that is that something you were